Hi, how are you doing today? This is Rich here on Rich TV Live, and I have some big news from Christina Lake Cannabis. Told you guys this was my number one cannabis play of 2021, and Christina Lake Cannabis is now listed on the OTCQB exchange. Here it is, OTCQB member since February 2021. This is brand new. You can go and see security details. It's a very tight float stock. Look at this. Only a 75 million market cap and 100 million shares issued at standing, only 72 million in the float. And here was the news Christina Lake Cannabis announces uplisting to the OTCQB market in the United States. And I have a feeling that this is a sign of what's to come. Now, I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that now that they're listed in, in America on the OTCQB, which is a very good tier exchange, which means you're a fully reporting bulletin board company up to date on your filings and your financials shows that they're a higher tier company. This is obviously very bullish for the stock. And I just have this feeling that they might be doing, this might be the beginning. And I don't know this for sure. I can't verify it. The company's not going to tell me, but I have this feeling in my gut that this is the sign of them moving into the United States. Now, I got to verify this with the company. It's not being announced. I don't know this 100%, but I just have this feeling because I talked to them about, you know, expanding into the United States. And they said, well, they're not able to do that yet. But if they get listed in America, that could be the sign of what's to come. Now they're listed in America. So maybe the next big news is that they're going to start selling their distillate in America, which I think would be huge. Now, I don't know that for sure, but that's what I'm hoping for because that'll be a big catalyst for the stock. Now, let's just read a little bit about the news that just came out yesterday. And obviously the stock responded in kind, as you could see here, up 7% in America on the news and in Canada, CLC, it's CLCFF in America and in Canada, CLC in Frankfurt, Germany, CLB. And you can see it was up 8% in Canada. And when it did dip under 90 cents, I was telling everybody in our trading club that I thought it was a buying opportunity because it looked like it had gone up, consolidated, was drifting down. And I felt like it was a decent buy zone. And clearly I was right. And obviously the stock has come up now a little bit, up 8% yesterday. And we may see this continue and see this go back to a dollar. I was based on my analysis, I felt like this was consolidating, kind of drifting down and consolidating. And all it needed was a little bit of news to really get a next leg up. And obviously yesterday was the start of it. Let's see if it continues today. But let's break this news down. Christina Lake Cannabis, CLC in Canada, CLB in Frankfurt, Germany, and CLCFF in America, now on the OTCQB exchange is pleased to announce it has received approval from OTC Markets Group, OTCM, for its shares to trade on the OTC QB exchange. Beginning at market open on Thursday, Friday, February 18, 2021, which was yesterday, and the reason why the stock took another leg up. Companies listed on the OTC QB must meet high financial standards and are subject to stringent standards of corporate governance and compliance with securities laws. CLC's listing on the OTCQB provides investors the opportunity to benefit from streamlined market standards, which enhance the availability of information to the general public, enabling greater transparency. This is really big. To go from the pink sheets to the OTCQB is a huge step in the right direction. Comprehensive overview of OTCM's criteria for qualifying to list on the OTCQB can access on the following link. Yeah, you know what? Let's take a look at that. So these are the requirements right here, OTCQB standards. You can see the eligibility standards. You need to have audited financials. You need to be current in your disclosure. You need to have a bid price of at least a penny. You need to have at least 50 beneficial shareholders. Have a freely traded public float of at least 10% not be subject to any bankruptcy or reorganization proceedings. Need to have a transfer agent, corporate governance. So there's, I mean, this, this is how you become a higher tier company. You can see all the different standards that are needed to be 
on the OTC QB and then maintain it. So this is a good sign of what's to come. And this is definitely a step in the right direction for Christina like cannabis. Love to know what you guys think about this. Let's just continue to read what Joel Demarsk, the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Christina Lake Cannabis says about this news. Listing our shares on a U.S. exchange is an important part of our strategy as we actively explore opportunities to potentially expand into the United States. There it is again. I'm not making this up. Listen to what he says here. Guys, read between the lines. Listing our shares on a U.S. exchange is an important part of our strategy as we actively explore opportunities to potentially expand into the United States. So getting an OTCQB listing is potentially the beginning of them expanding into the United States in anticipation of pending changes to federal legalization, which would stand to create new opportunities in the cannabis industry south of the border. Legalization that's coming for cannabis in America is enormous and Christina Lake Cannabis wants to be in front of that catalyst. Being promptly uplisted to the OTCQB is a favorable development in terms of our position in the American capital markets and also in terms of our accomplishments to date as a company. This uplisting is only applicable to U.S. exchanges and does not represent a material change to the company or its business activities. Any inquiries regarding this uplisting may be directed to CLC's Investor Relations Department about Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. Christina Lake Cannabis Corp is a licensed producer of cannabis under the Cannabis Act. It has secured a standard cultivation license and corresponding processing sales amendment from Health Canada, March 20th, 20, March 2020 and August 2020 respectively, as well as a research and development license in early 2020. CLC's facilities consist of a 32 acre property, which includes over 950,000 square feet of outdoor grow space, offices, propagation, and drying rooms, research facilities, and a facility dedica dedicated to processing and extraction. CLC also owns a 99-acre plot of land adjoining its principal 32-acre site, which enables the company to grow at a much larger scale. CLC cultivates cannabis using strains specifically developed for outdoor cultivation, and in its inaugural harvest year produced 32,500 kgs, 71,650 pounds, on its existing facility before developing an adjacent 99-acre expansion property. Such an expansion will ultimately bring CLC's annual cultivation footprint to over 4.35 million square feet, ginormous, which could enable at least 150,000 kgs, 330,693 pounds of low-cost, high-quality sun-grown cannabis to be produced annually by the company. Big news. I'm reading between the lines, guys. Something's coming here. And it looks as though Christina Lake is trying to get into the United States. And they're listed now in the OTCQB. Stock is starting to make a move. I think we go back to a dollar soon. Let me know what you guys think. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Consult your financial advisor. Chances are they're going to say, where'd you get this pick? And you can say, my boy, Rich. And they'll say, Rich has got some good picks. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Big news for Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. Nice day yesterday after news of listing on the OTCQB exchange. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. Christina Lake Cannabis has already been a big winner, and it's just getting started. Is your boy Rich from Rich to be live? And I'm out. Peace.